We are back here on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show with the newest representative in Paris, representing the 35th District. He is Austin Davis. So I asked you in the commercial break, and I figured I might as well ask you in this show. I mean, so describe a typical week for me, for you at this point. So a typical week, if I'm in the district, uh, I'm usually in my district office, probably by about 8.30, and I'm meeting with different stakeholders in the 35th district, uh, as well as the region, uh, to talk about bringing resources to the Mon Valley, how we improve um, the lives of the people that live there. I, uh, in Harrisburg, I recently got my committee assignments. I'm on the Environmental and Energy Committee, uh, as well as the Agriculture and Rural Affairs Committee, um, Commerce, so that deals with job creation, uh, as well as the Game and Fish Committee, uh, Game and Fisheries. Um, but agriculture in particular is something that I'm really interested in because the Greater Pittsburgh Food Bank uh, is located is in, my, right? in my district. Um, and so there are a lot of hunger issues, particularly uh, in the city of Clareton. Uh, it's a categorized food desert. There's no grocery mm. stores. Um, so for access to healthy, fresh food is going to be a top priority of mine, mm -hmm. uh, as well as fostering the growth of the Marcel shale industry uh, to create more jobs. Uh, as well as improving our transportation system. So on a typical day, I'm usually in my office meeting with constituents and stakeholders uh, to talk about their issues, listening uh, and learning so I can advocate for them in Harrisburg. Uh, and when I am in Harrisburg, uh, I usually am there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, and we're, the House is voting, so I'm, I'm on the House floor voting on different bills, and I'm also introducing working on different pieces of legislation mm -hmm. uh, that affect my district as well as the Commonwealth. So, how do you know how to be a state? I mean, like, uh, what, yeah. how do you learn that? Well, you just have to be a good listener, right? Okay. Uh, I think I, my job is to go to Harrisburg and advocate for the people in my district, uh, but not just the 35th district, southwestern Pennsylvania as mm -hmm. a whole. Um, so, if I'm not listening to them and hearing their needs, I can't be an effect, effective advocate on their behalf. Okay. Um, so, listening is an important part of it. Learning your district, meeting with community leaders, um, talking about the things that they see because they're the folks who are on the ground every day um, and they're going to rely on me to advocate for them in Harrisburg. Um, so just really listen, being a good listener, uh, taking good notes and then going to Harrisburg and figuring out how to implement, take those notes and make them uh, create a policy uh, prescription for those. Based on that information. Okay, let's talk about, you, you mentioned spending time in the office. So in this area, do you have an office? Will you have multiple sites? How, yeah. Have you decided that yet? Yeah, I have multiple office ri offices right now, and that, that will continue. Uh, I have uh, one in Munhall on Main Street, uh, and I also have one in White Oak, which is the main district office, uh, as well as a satellite office in, in the city of Clareton at Clareton City Hall. Um, so there, those offices, uh, there may be some minor changes, but there's not going to be those offices. There will probably be three offices throughout the district for constituents to go to. What do you think your most difficult challenge is going to be in this first year? <sighs> My most difficult challenge, I think, for me will be, one, um, learning the process because Harrisburg is a, is a, is a massive place uh, and learning where the resources are, uh, but also attracting, trying to attract businesses uh, to the 35th district to, to talk about the real assets that we have in the Mon Valley from our access to, from our access to rivers and, and trails as well as uh, rail um, to make sure that people understand that, that it is somewhere that you should want to create a business. Uh, and there's a lot of opportunities there that I think haven't been realized. I suspect you're going to be back on this show on a regular basis, but before we run out of time, what would you say, I mean, because I mentioned that you are a young man who's made this decision, and so there's something refreshing about that, but yeah. we need to see more people, more young people, commit to politics. Yes, yeah, I, I think it's important. I think we're seeing, we're starting to see that. Uh, we're starting to see more young people get engaged, um, but the biggest thing for anybody, I think, that in politics or, or run for office is to learn the communities that you live in. Uh, not, it's not necessarily just a, enough to know the local elected officials, but you need to know the people who are the block watch captains, the people at the street level who really have a pulse on what's going on in their communities and then figure out what's the best way uh, for you to, to help them. And whether that's being an elected official or, or serving on a board of a CDC or just being a neighborhood adv advocate, um, there's a place and a role for everybody to play uh, in our society and in our government. And I would encourage, I do everything that I can to encourage young people to get involved and run for office. Let me ask you one final question. What benchmark going to be? How are you going to determine whether year one has been a success? What are the things that you're going to look at to assess 
and yeah. your time in office. So I think, so not only will I be assessing my time in office, I think everybody in the 35th district will get an opportunity to assess my time in office uh, every two years. I run every two years, and I'm on the ballot again in May. So even though I just wow. won in January. Okay. Because you were finishing out I'm a fin term. I'm finishing okay. out a term, so I'm running again in May and November. Um, so my benchmarks are, are, are going to be uh, how you know, how quickly we can we can get our initiatives into the legislature and, and, and moving. I mm -hmm. mean, the legislature is a slow, is a slow process uh, and it does take time, but as long as things are moving, that kind of feel, makes me uh, feel hopeful and successful. And then uh, if, we're, if, we're, if we're improving the lives of the people in the 35th district, whether that's just our constituent service stuff, whether that's the initiatives that we're gonna be doing from our office, that's my benchmark. If I, if I get up every day and figure out how am I making somebody's life better who lives in my district, that's how I'll grade uh, myself mm. as a state representative. Okay, well, we're gonna get you back here like six, nine months from now, <laughs> and we'll look at it from your perspective and my perspective. Absolutely. Is that a deal? Absolutely. Awesome, thanks so much and congratulations. We're Thank you so to much. See what, what comes from the 35th district. I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna take a commercial break. When we come back, we're celebrating with the African American Music Institute, so don't go away. Anymore.